So we're going to again start with the My First Model file. So if you don't already have it open, just come across to your file menu and open. And again browse to the folder and select My First Model. So either double click on that to open it or click on open here in your file window. So we'll first maximize our perspective view. Simply double click on the viewport title to maximize it with your left mouse button. And remember that we can use our right mouse button to move around the viewport. We can hold down our shift button and right click to pan the view. So what I'd like you to do is we've been using our scroll wheel to scroll in and out but if you actually press the scroll wheel and you actually just press on it and click down you'll bring up this little rhino gold menu and look there are a lot of icons here I'm not going to step through them one by one we'll be covering some of them in various stages during our training but some of the important ones you need to know are more so down the bottom here things like to select all gems in your drawing which is that first icon in that second box there click on that to select all of the gems in your drawing and again you can press escape on your keyboard or click on the grid with your left mouse button to deselect that so if I had a ring with numerous prongs in it I could click my middle mouse wheel press and click to bring up the menu and I could select all of the prongs with this icon here so again you can just press escape on your keyboard or click on the grid to deselect them so let's just have a quick look at selecting all of the gems and we'll hide them so that we can look inside this ring. So to do that, click on your middle scroll wheel and move across here to this first icon at the bottom to select the gems and hold down your shift button and move your mouse cursor across to the right hand side and you'll see you get a different menu now. So this menu allows you to hide and view and show objects. So if we wanted to hide those gems we could move across here and select the first icon there to hide the objects. And you'll see now that the gems are hidden. So if we wanted to look at something inside the ring band we could again move our cursor to that area and scroll in to zoom in on that area. let's unhide those gems we'll, we'll set them to show so once again hold down your shift button move across to the right hand side of your display and you'll see the second icon along is to show objects which shows anything that's hidden okay we'll be looking at that a bit more closer through some of these next exercises what I suggest is you just watch these orientation videos a few times just to get familiar with some of these steps before we start in some of the tutorials.